Hello and welcome. You're watching Beyond World is One. My name is Mohammed Saleh, and let's start this broadcast by taking a quick look at what is making headlines at this hour. Now, Israel has launched multiple bombings on a number of different targets in the southern suburbs of Beirut in Lebanon. Buildings have been bombed in Haritz Creek, in Hadat, and also in Kafat after the Israelis claim that they issued evacuation orders just minutes before they bombed these specific places. A Dutch court hears a case filed by pro-Palestinian NGOs asking the judges to order the Dutch government to stop supplying arms to the state of Israel and also to cut off economic ties with the illegally Israeli settlements in occupied Palestinian territories. The Ukrainian army has said that it controls nearly about 800 square kilometers of the Russian border region of Kirk and scales down the previous claims of holding almost about 1,400 square kilometers. And it also admits about the Russian advance by nearly about 200 to 300 meters on a daily basis near the Ukrainian hub of Kirokov in eastern Donetsk. It's a legal victory for the U.S. President-elect Donald Trump. A judge in criminal hush money case orders that sentencing be delayed indefinitely. And Pakistan's Punjab government imposes prohibitory orders banning all public gatherings, protests, rallies, processions and also sit-ins for three days. The move comes ahead of the jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan's Pakistan Delhi Kinsa Party's planned protest rally in Islamabad on the 24th of November. The Indian Prime Minister arrives in New Delhi after concluding his visit to Nigeria, Brazil and Guyana. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.